Hey everyone, this is really exciting. We have Sunny Vu from um, Misfit Wearables down here at the Digital Health Summit CES studio. Oh, it's been a blast being here. I've uh, really enjoyed meeting some of the usual suspects and some new suspects. I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I would imagine that someone like Sanjay Gupta or Dr. Oz wouldn't normally come to see us. I don't know, maybe they're gadget guys, you know. Yeah. But if it, I think if it wasn't for Jill's work putting together the Digital Health Summit at CES and because of her outreach, it, it stuff like this wouldn't happen, you know. And you're yeah. seeing kind of mainstream yeah. convergence of people like Dr. Oz and Sanjay Gupta. Well, even people like you, Sonny. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, and just the amount of innovation you've done and taken the Misfit uh, wearable shine um, to like actually retail opportunity right now is just amazing. So, what ha what just happened inside? You ha you were leading the panel. You know, we were talking about the power of the healthy crowd. So basically, what cr what the crowd can do for health. Is it just yeah. money? Is it just uh, ideas that they're incubating? And what we found out really was that it's about data and information and consumer feedback, early consumer feedback. And I mean, that's kind of in line with what we've learned at, with the Misfit Shine was, you know, you kind of figure out whether people would be willing to buy what you're making ahead of time. And now it's yeah, being applied yeah. to healthcare products. Yeah. And it's interesting with healthcare, if you get if you get, we need to have a population shift, a mentality shift, not just one by one, but as a group to make the population healthier to really save the country because of the budgets from what we've heard. Um, last gadget standing. Right. Oh, we had a great time. We were so honored to be picked as a top 10 uh, finalists here. Uh, there were a bunch of entries and top 25, top 10. And uh, we're, we actually walked away with the number two prize, which blows me away because it's a health product. It's not like, you know, a new electric vehicle or whatever. This is all of CES. I mean, this yeah. is the biggest event one in the world. Yeah, I mean, we're up against like Lenovo and Samsung and stuff. So, um, yeah, incredibly. I, I think it is an, possibly an indicator that this is actually the breakout year for health devices as yeah. a mainstream yeah. thing. Yeah, no, I mean, just the talent that's been through here. So, so show us the shine a little bit. Yeah, so this is a personal activity tracker made out of, uh, carved out of solid aircraft-grade aluminum. I, 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 saw, I saw this just yeah. uh, just over the web, and it's actually really interesting to uh, first check it out. Yeah. And it's not pla it's not like totally plastic, it's yep. just rock solid. Yeah. It almost looks like it's from space. Yeah, it looks like a little space uh, spaceship, or UFO. But uh, the idea was basically to make something that was built to last a lifetime. Something, not cheap plastic stuff that you throw away or you'd replace next year, but something you'd use for years. And uh, so we're, we're inspired to do that. And you're, I, I had some great conversations with you with design philosophy and simplicity. Yeah, well, I mean, there's two ways to make products, right? One is to think about what technologies you have and then uh, make products around it. And m for us, we're in the wearable space, so making people wear what you made. Yeah. And you end up with, uh, you know, clips that, uh, you know, and, you know, things that aren't necessarily very wearable, you know? And so that's the problem that we're attacking is, you know, what is it that you would normally wear? Uh, is it cl cloth? I mean, you know, it's, you know, if you ask yourself that, it's, it's cloth, it's, you know, precious metals, precious stones, uh, yeah, yeah. crystal, that kind of thing. Yeah. And so we just we started with what it should be made of, how big it is, and where you can wear it. And that's it. And I could just... No, I, yeah. Where, where would I put You know, this? you could put it right on your jacket here. And because it's wearable anywhere, here or on your pants or whatever, the thing is, it doesn't make... It, it's not inappropriate, you know. Uh, yeah. It's metal, so it's... It what, what, what are the lights for? The lights actually tell you how well you're doing towards your daily activity goals. So right here... I'm halfway through, and so that means I've, uh, I'm about halfway to my activity goals for the day. You better go run down to the South Hall, Sonny. Come on. It's been, it's been a long conference, but we've had a lot of fun with this. And, uh, you know, one of the things, let me show you. I don't know if we, we could see this in the camera, but one of the cool things about it is how you transfer data. We, so we, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you want to yeah, see we'll, that? Yeah, we'll do, we'll, do a cut, we'll do a cutaway. But, yeah, can, okay. you can show it. So all you do is you just... No wires, no cables, nothing. You just place the device on the phone, and it just syncs. It's beeping and syncing, and this is the coolest. Yeah, so, you know, we've had a lot of fun doing that, a lot of engineering challenges. But, uh, you know, that's our, um, that's our philosophy is to figure out what it should be first, and then invent as necessary. Now, as you came down here, you, you met a, a number of different people. Who are you trying to meet, and what are you trying to uh, get out of the Digital Health Summit this year? You know, um... I'm trying to find other folks who take user 
designing for the user seriously. Like really think about the user and not just think about what technologies you have and then making yeah, users yeah. use stuff. You know, and I think I met a few, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, folks like Monisha, who's doing, um, who did Lumo. What an amazing product. Yeah, Luma back, Luma back. I mean, back pain, that's like, like. I've got it right now. Are you serious? Okay, well, yeah, it's standing all day. tens of millions of people, you know, yeah. so, I mean, what an incredible company. Yeah, I know, I know her from demo, so, okay. so yeah, super cool. Um, what's next for you, Sonny? You know, <clears throat> we've uh, got a suite of products. You know, what we're focused on is highly wearable products. So products that you would wear possibly even if it was broken. So that's our bar. Wow. Would you wear it if it was broken? Would yeah. you wear a standard uh, pedometer if it was broken? The answer is like, it's usually a laughable question. But you'd be surprised how many people would wear this even if it wasn't working. And yeah, we're not yeah. quite there yet. We're not there, you know. But we, uh, I think we're getting closer. I mean, about yeah. 15, 20% of people actually say they would wear it. And I'll say, what if it was, you know, if it was broken? So yeah. that's, our, that's the bar that we're trying to hit. Well, I think this is so cool because I've met so many amazing people. I've, I've been wanting to meet you, and then Jill pulls together this amazing yeah. team. So Jill Gilbert, Sonny Vu, you guys are just rock stars in this digital health space. It's really cool. And it's, and it's so much fun, you know. Um, yeah, we're, we're having a blast. So I guess that's a, that's a wrap, and um, we'll see you next year. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Tim. All right, thanks, Sonny.